Good morning. There seems to be coolant on the floor, but they didn't even do a coolant change. My truck doesn't turn on. It's a little bit. Yeah, if it was completely dead, it would have just. No, the lights wouldn't turn off. Yeah, yeah nothing would turn off. Disconnected. So my car isn't turning on, I don't know why, but I do know that they did an oil change yesterday on my truck after I got back. Um, there was coolant on the floor, so I thought maybe there was no coolant at all, because like literally there was coolant on the floor, like a lot of coolant. And I checked and there's coolant, so I don't know, I don't know what the issue is, maybe it was something with the oil change, but the truck is just not turning on. And it's so crazy to me the way things work, because i came in at 5 15 and my brother needed a ride because he's doing something to his car and he's going in at 6 15 so there's like an hour difference and he still had to come with me because i had to be in earlier my truck didn't start turning on so he took over my job which is in la and i just think that's crazy because if he wasn't carpooling with me then that would have been a bigger mess like i would have been late to my job which was in la so he just left right now and he's covering that job and i'm gonna cover his job in la puente but this is a bummer. I mean, everything happens for a reason, but this is a bummer. We're up and running again. I just got loaded. I just got loaded and there's no one behind me. So I'm going to take this time to wash my truck with acid. Um, I'm going seconds at the job. So I have to be there at 7.30. So I loaded up like pretty early so I have time to wash my truck so I'm gonna do that. like the residue after I get loaded <laughs> and then my aspas or my layers I don't know what you call them in English my pillars I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong um they get dirty after we load up so I'm gonna wash them down my pillars are rinsed shoot down and ready too just so the pumper doesn't have to do this for me already so I got a really good video suggestion idea in my comments in my previous video they suggested seeing like a video on how I operate the truck from like start to finish like from the loading process the unloading process like what all my buttons do this and that and I think that would be a really good idea because honestly my videos right now are kind of just like daily vlogs they're not really so informative 
So I think it would be a really good idea to explain like how I operate this truck from start to finish. The only thing is I forget sometimes to film or sometimes I'm just like unable to. So maybe if I get the GoPro, I can kind of show you guys more hands-on. I'm deciding on the GoPro just because I'm able to do like hands-free and that's like what I want. I'm just trying to think how I would film that, but I mean, it's easy. I mean, a lot of this is just like second nature to me already, but I, when I was starting off, I didn't even learn like steps. There were steps. It's like a routine. My job is like a routine from start to finish for every load. It's like a routine. So I could definitely like refresh my mind on that and explain it and give you guys all that information. I think that would be really good. So I think it's good for those who are like thinking about getting into the trade or who simply just are curious to know like what what buttons do what you know <laughs> like a driveway to put his ocean boat on which he told me about and then I guess on the other side of the house is another slab but I don't know what it's for I told him to show me after I'm done because I want to see see how the jasmine are all on that side oh, of the wall that's, that, that's how this side's gonna be and then I have new gates coming in like the end of the maybe the end of the week that's nice. so I, I like tall yeah because my boat's going to be back here. Oh, okay. Where's your boat right now? Oh, it's at my buddy's shop. Oh, wow. It's, it's a mess. It's a mess right now. And how were you putting your boat up in the... Over on that side? Yeah. You I would never just put, put it, it the there, left. but it, I'll go up the curb. I have a metal RV cover like this, mm -hmm. but it's it's going to go to the wall. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I needed to pour this, because it's 18 feet wide. Mm -hmm. So this was all grass before? This was grass. Oh, wow. So I was digging this at 11 o'clock at night. Oh, my God. So, alone no well i i did all that i was like hey bro i'm a little behind on this project can you uh do the sprinklers mm -hmm. oh. so i set them up doing the pvc along the wall over there so i, I could do this and just a lot of different yeah. different moving parts uh-huh it looks good though you have a lot of space back there you don't go inside your pool um show this process but this is where I wash out the pump wash and I like to rinse it before I I drop it and guys my truck isn't dirty it's just rusted the paint came off it sucks because it looks so dirty but this wasn't even my fault one of the workers hammered it so that all the buildup would fall down but that's not the way you're supposed to do it because look now my paint chipped and now it's rust with any little water it starts to rust so my truck isn't dirty it's actually just rusty Like in my 
my car, it's a new freeway with a truck. So it's like new territory, you know? So it's so exciting. I have to be there at 7. There was a previous truck that started at 6.40. So, I don't know if this is like a big job. Because usually when it's a big job, we start like early. Then earlier than 7. And that was the case today. So I don't know. I'm excited though.
says I'm loaded already. And it says my ETA is 6.30. So I'm going to head out now because honestly, because honestly, those 15 minutes will be taken from me just from driving over there. So I'm going to get there right on 6.45. I came this way. I'm already hungry. It's not even seven yet. So I'm gonna eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter. I have my peanut butter and jelly like this. The vibrator is my best friend, look. And I know it bugs people. I think this is a thrift store, and if it is, I'm gonna go in after this job. What time do you have time to treat you to Chinese food? Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done now, and I asked my boss if. I need to go for the cleanup or if someone else is going for the cleanup and it's not me so there's a thrift store right here like literally right next to the job and I have time to go look like I asked and everything so before anyone says this is why the concrete's lay every time whatever that's not me I'm always on time and I'm not that irresponsible to like go waste time if I know I have another load I double checked I called my boss and they said I have time so I'm gonna go to the thrift store because it's literally right here next to the job and I'm gonna see what I find I'm gonna just look lock my truck too just in case but isn't that cool I'm able to remove my key without turning off the truck my truck is still spinning I used to go to the bathroom and leave my truck open <laughs> the job was right there I just got a bunch of scrapbook stuff I'm so hungry. Ah, my food fell. I'm at my everyday slurry job now. I don't really talk about this anymore because it's so repetitive, but we bring slurry every day to a fiber optic company. Today we're on a main street, like a really main street. <laughs> They're not ready for me yet. They're never ready for me. This is usually when I eat my lunch and 
I seen some comments asking like where I heat up my lunch and I always heat up my lunch at the plant where I load up at so I'll heat up my lunch before I come to slurry and then I get here and they're never ready for me so I usually eat my lunch mm -hmm. 